Hi everyone, welcome to Color Outside the Magic. My name is Katie, how are you guys today? If you are a first timer here, welcome. I feature small shops, I love unboxings, and everything to do with Harry Potter, Marvel, and Disney. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. It is so good to see you. It is spooky season. I am totally ready. I am so excited about everything to do with Haunted Mansion, Poisoned Apples, and Mickey Pumpkins. Those are some of my favorite things. Obviously, Ursula is always up there as well with my villains. Love it. Um, so today we are doing an unboxing. It's one of my favorite places. Bippity boxes. And we are rocking the Halloween box. So we have the Bippity logo here with the Halloween balloons. And we've got everything from Mickey Pumpkins, Mickey Ghosts. We've got some awesome Frankenstein candy and mini lollipops. And there is the pumpkin booze. Um, there's one up there. So there's so many fun things happening on this box. Um, this is the fantasy box. And I put all the information down below. So this will be the last month I'm getting the fantasy. Throughout the year, I tend to drop down, save up. So for holidays, so this is my September box. So October, November, December, I go back up to the ultimate. And so that's the higher price box. Um, that one's around, I believe, 119 plus shipping and handling, whereas the fantasy is around 59, I believe, plus shipping and handling. And so there's always the wish list and the preferences. Plus, now this past month, I know they tried the new Bippity um, list. I'm still learning about that, and that kept crashing the site, so I think Becky took it off. I've been told, and through our emails, if you're already signed up for October, it should be up. So it almost sounds like you do get to pick, there's like two lists. So you either can put things in your box like you've been able to from the wish list, or the Be By Bippity is gonna have special things. I love their stuff. Like they tend to make specific shirts and the Halloween store just reopened. So I'm gonna try and get this up so you guys can go check that out. And there's new things. Oh my goodness, is there the Haunted Mansion popcorn sipper and the donut are up and I want all of them because I'm gonna stand on all of them because it's my ghosts. I love them. Um, yes, there's a lot of things in from small shops and from them. So it sounds very exciting. So I'm excited for when it gets launched for the October to see how that goes. Um, let me know below if you are excited or not about this. If you are a Bippity Box, um, subscriber, I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and dig on in. It was all wrapped in plastic and I already opened that up. I love that cause it keeps it sealed. Mine does look like it, um, was a little rough handled and traffic but we are okay oh okay so we are back to more of a traditional packaging with i got some crinkles as the lid shuts my face um sometimes there are crinkles sometimes there are the really awesome um bags that you can reuse now i'm loving this looks like we are back to the awesome envelope so it says spooky season um which was actually very similar to one of the shirts they did so you've got mickey pumpkins and mickey ghost and there's actually a mickey bat up oh, there we go as so you can see that on there and then the back has the bippity. Um, ooh, look at this. It's really not so scary. Boo to you. Boo to you, a trick or treat. For you, that's boo. It's you know who. A boo to you and you and you and you. It's the song that they sing. Happy Halloween. So I absolutely love it. And the packing slip is on this side. This is super cute. I'll probably cut this out and have that. So we're just going to set that to the side until the end. And I do have, I'll hold this up again, a bippity Halloween sticker on here with some purple tissue paper. I always hate ripping stickers. I wish I could keep them. I'm a sticker person. Are you guys liking stickers? I love stickers. All right. I see something blue on the side. Now there was a lot on the wish list that I hearted this time. Uh, it was a lot of Hannah Mansion. So obviously, yes. Um, I think there was some Hocus Pocus. I can't remember what else was on there. If there's anything else that I really wanted, but I know there's a lot of Hannah Mansion coming out. And I semi regretted not having September be a larger box because I didn't think about all of that being dropped so soon. So that's okay though, because I'm excited about October. So we're gonna see what we got on here. There is something blue on the side. So I'm gonna go for that first. <gasps> yes. Okay. I'm pretty sure this was something I hearted. If not, I definitely should have. So this is a Disney Parks exclusive and it is a card holder. I have the Madame Leota one. Um, which I know I showed off there in my big lounge fly bag video. Um, but I saw this one here. So it has the Disney Parks um, little sticker there to show it's an exclusive. So on this side, I'll pull this out um, if I can. 
Um, the one I have is where I keep my driver's license and insurance and everything because it's got the spot for your thumb, which traditionally you can just, you know, pop out what's in here. The card is sticky a little bit. So it has the Hitchhiking Ghosts on it, Phineas, Ezra, and Gus. I absolutely love them. They are on that side. And then this side, are you ready for it? I'm going to save it. So you, you have a clip and you can put one, two, three, four cards there. Um, this goes down and it's holographic. So in one way it says the Haunted Mansion and you turn it the other way and there's my ghost. I love it and it's got all the design and the detail. I am absolutely in love with this. Something that is on my wish list is the Disney Parks Funko Haunted Mansion mini backpack. I have, um, I know this is the Mickey pumpkin wallpaper, but I have the wallpaper Disney Parks that was out last year. Um, I have that mini backpack and I'm totally already wearing it and rocking it. But I've seen people posting, I keep eyeing shop Disney and I'm hoping it'll go there because I really want it and this will match it perfectly. So this is amazing. I love these because I can put, you know, my um, most used credit cards information. You can put cash, you know, in one of the spots, but it's really great to grab and go. So I love that. All right, that's one. We're going to dig through. I see something else over here. <gasps> okay, I know I definitely had this on my wish list. Oh my goodness. Okay, so another, I'm going to hide it. Another Disney Parks exclusive with the pink sticker because I knew there was zero chance of me getting this. I'm going to be in the parks in February. If me list my last, missed, wow, can't speak. Missed my last video, I announced that I'm doing the Run Disney, the Princess um, Half Marathon. I'll be doing the 5K and I'm doing yoga, which is the day before. I'm very excited about it. So don't forget, help me out. Which princess should I be? Right now I'm leaning towards Rapunzel because I'm a huge Pascal fan, but let me know. Who do you think I should be? But, you know, February is a while off. Obviously, I'm going to miss all the Halloween and Christmas stuff. And this little guy popped up on their wish list. Um, so now I have my very own <laughs> Hitchhiking Ghost. And he is a wishable. It has a little keychain here. So he is pretty hard. He's made of, like, harder rubber or harder plastic. So he is a wishable. He is a keychain. Now, in one of my previous boxes, I got in the Haunted Mansion, like, retro-style motel keychain. That was room 999. And Gracie Manther. So he is gonna go along with it. Now it is a red and I can't remember how much pricing is these days. Um, so I love that he can spin. He clips on. I'm loving this blue. The fact that they're all matching. I think I'm gonna need to get some blue ears to go with this. Okay. So obviously I know it's one of the three. I almost want to say it's Gus. I can't. Don't yell at me. Um, I can't think. I know it's. he's right here. And I just can't think which one that is. Oh, it has butt stamp. That's funny. It's got the Disney castle right on it. <laughs> so I got two of those. Look at that. Two for two. Haunted Mansion. Let's keep going. Um, fluffy. Every. Ooh. I see socks. There were a lot of socks actually on. Oh, my God. We have a theme, everyone. Best theme ever. Because I see some ghosts on these socks. <laughs> Oh, these are so fun. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, look, and it's got another pink. I am just rocking this. You guys are awesome at Bippity. All right, so these are Disney Parks exclusive. Oh my goodness. Okay, so on this side, it says a ghost will follow you home up here. And then on the foot side, there's the cat. And on the front side, there's the trees. And we got one of our hitchhiking ghosts right there. And then on this side, we have the one of the other hitchhiking ghosts and on the back side here is this little guy it's the same one so i'm gonna have to like look them up and i'll post the names below and then his bag is on your foot so that way your feet up um these are amazing i'm so excited look at that hitchhiking ghosts are rocking it they're my favorite i love the hitchhiking ghosts madam later let me know if you're a haunted mansion fan who's your favorite i know there's a lot of tightrope walker um, there's a lot of, I love the hat box too. If you are a Disneyland fan, um, you have the hat box ghost. That's where I'm originally from. Um, so I'm a huge hat box fan. I wish he would make special appearances at Disney world. I have never seen him there. So I am a hat box fan, but to go with the hat box, my hitchhiking ghosts are my favorite. So let me know favorite character, favorite scene. All right. So I have no idea. I'm really bad at adding this all up in my head right now. But they're all parks exclusive. Something is really wrapped up in here. This, I think, is the last item. There's also a lot of candles 
and more of the coffee. I was hoping for some of the coffee, maybe next time. Although they did, as I said, open up the, um, the, the Halloween shop, which works perfectly because if there's items that I didn't get here with the coffee, I could always go order that from their shop. Cause I really like the Loki coffee that I got. Oh gosh, it's going over the Loki coffee. And I know that they had like Sanderson's and they had a haunted brew, I believe. So I may have to go order it. And they're the awesome two ounces. So it's like a sample. All right. This is totally wrapped. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. Totally Halloween themed. Absolutely loving this. This was on my wish list. I don't know if it was actually an item that you could heart, but on the preference list, you know, I'm always like, I want Haunted Mansion. I love villains, you know, Ursula, Mickey Pumpkins, and it's in bubble wrap. Hold on, hold on. Poisoned apple. Oh, day made. This is amazing. And it's ceramic, guys. It's amazing. Oh. I think it got messed up on the inside because it's like just print, which we're fine. I think it's supposed to say just a touch of evil, but you can see like the inside's a little messed up. I really don't care. <laughs> I'm going to be honest because this is more what I'm about because the downfall is if you have anything on the inside, when I put coffee in here, it's going to probably get messed up anyway. I am allowed to drink out of this, right? Hold on because it could end up being a decorative piece. Do not use, nope, it's 20 ounce ceramic mud. Do not use a microwave or dishwasher. We're okay with that. Hand wash only. We're also okay with that. I don't need this little sticker. The little sticker can go away. Um, I'm so excited. Huh. This is wonderful. Who do I have? Oh, I have Maleficent. I was going to say, I was wondering if the evil queen was currently facing out. If you haven't seen this, this is from Scentsy. I absolutely love it. So the inside, the glass where the melter is, is actually this. When you look at it, it's the poisoned apple. Um, and it has three sides. So here's Maleficent. And if you notice behind her is her dragon eye. I don't know if you guys can see that. Normally I have Ursula and then she has her awesome little globe with Ariel. And then the third side is the evil queen. I believe it's her mirror that shows up behind her, not the poison apple, which might be why I don't have it facing out right now. But I love everything to do poison apples. I just love the design and how it's like perfectly spooky. So this is absolutely wonderful. We went for Haunted Mansion and we got a poison apple. Guys, that's just amazing for me because we are rocking the Halloween. All right, let's look at the packing slip. Dun, da, da. All right, I always like to see who curated. <gasps> I got some paint new guys. Okay, so <laughs> Amanda has been doing all of my boxes lately, which I absolutely love because she's been doing fabulous. And I can say this is awesome because it says this box was curated with love by Brenda, who is Mama B. And I have never had Mama B do one of my boxes, so thank you, because this was absolutely wonderful with all of my Haunted Mansion and spookiness. This was perfect. So this is, oh my God, holy cow, this is absolutely fabulous. Okay, ready for this. Disney Parks exclusive, Haunted Mansion, Ghost Wishable. It doesn't tell me which ghost. We're gonna have to look that up. I'll put it in the comments. Bag key charm, $9.99. Totally worth it. I could take somebody out with him. He's like a giant. Did you have these like giant erasers when you were kids that you collected and never actually used because they were just super cute? That's what he reminds me of. Um, next, <coughs> Disney Parks exclusive socks. Haunted Mansion and Ghosts Will Follow You Home. $14.99. These are worth every penny. Um, I will be wearing these like at all times <laughs> once I wash them. Uh, machine wash warm. Okay. Because this is just... I'm gonna have to post these on Instagram, guys. You're gonna be seeing posts of my feet suddenly, and this is why. Because this is wonderful. I wonder if there's more. But I love that it's my ghosts because they're the best. So those are 14 Disney Parks exclusive, Haunted Mansion, Hitchhiking Ghosts, a card holder, which I love because it's exclusive. So like I said, I have the Madame Leota one, um, which is absolutely fabulous. That's what I currently have in my bag. So this was $16.99. Now, I know Loungefly does make some of these. This does not have Loungefly on it. This is, again, Disney Parks, which sometimes Disney will team up with Loungefly for exclusives, but this is a Disney Parks exclusive, and I'm loving every single second of it because it is hologrammed, and it is them. And this is my favorite form of them, where they're sort of cartoonish but also creepy at the same time. Like, there are some where they're very creepy, but I personally like them like this, where they're sort of silly looking. That's why he's my favorite. 
Um, and then finally, the Disney Villains Poison Apple 3D 20 ounce ceramic mug, $24.99. I will be drinking this for like the rest of the month. <laughs> All right, I have to decide now, guys. What do you think? Should it come to work, which is school, and be my school mug with my coffee machine, or should it stay here? Let me know your thoughts below. Would I be hugely disappointed if I broke it? Absolutely. But I keep my coffee area away from the kids, so I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. All right, so favorite item, guys. Favorite item. Oh, total value. $66.96. So again, I think it's uh, Fantasy is a 59 plus shipping um, tax. 100% worth it considering every single item except for this. And I'm not positive if I've seen it on Shop Disney yet. But all the other items are Shop or Disney Parks Resort exclusive. And as I said, I won't be there till February, which means the Haunted Mansion selection is probably going to be like slim to none. Let me know below. If you've been to the parks in February, what is coming out? Because when I looked at the schedule, there's no, because it's the Princess um, Half Marathon, there's no like set theme that I could see because it's before the flower, um, I'm sorry, Flower and Garden. It's before that. Because I was really excited thinking I'd get a lot of Orange Bird merchandise. And maybe it comes out early, so I'm not sure. So let me know. If you've come at the end, that's at the very end of February. If you've got the end of February, let me know what you remember, like themes, what's out there. Obviously, I'm going in the 50th, so I'm very excited about that. Get some 50th merch. But I'm just sort of curious, like, will I be able to find, like, Haunted Mansion stuff or, you know, Poison Apple? Because I know they're more frequent at the Halloween spooky season, but I'm a little, I'm wondering when I should be looking for them. So let me know down below. I have no idea what my favorite item is. This is actually very hard, as I love all four like equally. I don't know. You let me know if you have a favorite item. Um, this was absolutely wonderful. Thank you for joining me today. Um, if you like this video, you can always give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to see more videos. Um, I am slowly decorating my house with work. It's been an ongoing process, so I am starting up here. We're working downstairs, so I will always do a tour. Um, once I get that done, um, and obviously doing some spooky season merch probably showing off. If you are following me on Instagram, I have already been showing off a lot of the new ears and attire that I have been getting, but all this I can er, post down below. Um, if you're getting a Bibbidi box, let me know. Um, I am very excited for spooky season. Here is a final question though. Are you a spooky season or Christmas? Like I am totally... In spooky season, I'm spooky season. And as soon as Halloween is over, I'm like, Christmas. <laughs> Shift it over. I do like fall. Like the Mickey pumpkins and everything stay up. And Haunted Mansion for me is a season year-round event. It's not just spooky season. I just spread it out a whole lot more back then. Um, but let me know. Are you one or the other? Um, some people I know are very much like, you know, they do wait till October to do their fall and then their Christmas. And then others are like, Hey, it's July. Let's put up Halloween, <laughs> which, you know, this year I was totally like, oh, look, it's August. Let's put the Mickey pumpkins up. But it is past now, the first day of fall, so I can be more official and not be yelled at by certain people by having all of this up. Um, so, yeah, let me know. Favorite favorite holiday? Which one are you? Do you lean toward more than one? Or are you like me and you're like fully immersed in this one? And then once it's over, it's like Christmas Mickey's. <laughs> All right, guys, have a fabulous day. Thank you for joining me. Remember to make sure every day is the best day ever and to always color outside the magic. Until next time.